We are back once again here in the NHL 25 goaltender be a professional after finally finishing what was a ferociously bad season we are ready to discover if we win the draft lottery also see if we make any trades sign any free agents etc just so I can give you a bit of a before and after this is what our offense looks like right now we actually have an unfilled spot which I don't think I've ever seen before defensively there's no Sergachev so I'm really hoping he's just injured because what's going on with that okay so right now this man is made of glass and we also don't have Ingram. He's not here, so maybe his contract did expire. Me personally, I don't think I'm ready to take on the starting role yet. I mean, the 120 and 5 record speaks for itself. So I think we should sign maybe an 85 overall goaltender, sort of a veteran to kind of show me the ropes a little bit. The simulation is going to start right now. When is the draft lottery a trade point for me? We have to win it. We get bumped down to three. What an absolute joke. Oh. My contract is already up and I can sign just a one-year deal. Well, I'm staying in Utah for now because I want to see what happens here. I'm glad and somewhat surprised they offered me a contract. And here we are already in the next season. I'm going to skip past the entire preseason as I do. It looks like our equipment got reset again as well. Oh, give me the storyline. We have a chance for Dialed and Energizer? That's crazy. We only went up to 72 overall. Great number though. However, I am gonna bump up our vision and also stick low. No, you know what? We're going for angles and breakaway. There you go. This is an all plus and I believe it is a permanent perk. Yes, it is. Another permanent perk. I don't know how getting a car helps my stats become better, but I'm not gonna argue it. Who needs endurance? Let's just up our speed and recovery with the American Chopper. And let's also improve breakaway and agility. I love how we just went and bought four cars. Did we unlock any abilities? I don't think so. No. Wait, the equipment saved here. If I just leave, is it gonna work? I believe it does because the same thing happened in NHL 24. So we should be all right, but this will be the moment of truth. Yep, we're good. Let's see what the second year Utah Hockey Club is made of here. View the lines. We have Michelli, Cooley, and Keller as our first line. I think that was our first line last year. Iginla gonna be centering Granny Smith and Genther. Donor gonna be playing with Michael and Kraus. Our team really does not look much different at all. Oh, okay. They ended up bringing Ingram back. That's fine with me. I did have high expectations for this season. Looking at our team though and how we made basically no changes, a trade point for me? I just, I don't really see how things are gonna change that much. Our first start is against the LA Kings. Let's get it done and hopefully have a solid performance here. Probably gonna be sub 900 and get lit up. 1-1 one, one after one and 3-1 after two. Well, it's the first game we're starting. Let's just go and see what happens. I have to remember some of the tricks of the trade, such as pushing in the right stick so that I can move faster while standing up, poke checking when they get up close and personal. Although that says zero on the scoreboard, I did look, they had 11 shots coming into this period, so I wonder who's actually gonna put, oh, they have 12. My real question is, wait, no, we have 12. What am I saying? Why am I looking at this totally wrong? They have 26. Will their first non-simulation shot go in or will I be able to make a save? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. Here we go, Anderson. Able to walk out. Oh my goodness. Okay, get up. Yep, that is a prime showing of our recovery in action. Adrian over the line. Oh, he kind of ripped that one, actually. Didn't seem like he could get much of an angle or even have the zone to shoot, but he did. Why do I always slide so much? That is the thing I need to work on the most right now is stop sliding for everything. I overuse the right stick way too much. Like it should be more of a desperation save type thing. And I'm out here using it to make every save. There we go. Probably should have had that in the glove and there shouldn't have been a rebound, but there was. You know what? I'm kind of happy that I got scored on there because yeah, it really was an eye opener of why I need to stop doing that and start just being a normal goaltender a little bit more. We are saving some things here as a whole. Speaking of whole, what one did that find? Are you kidding me? He absolutely snuck this in. What a weasel. No way that doesn't go in. Not that it would matter, but it's just kind of a confidence booster, you know, like 5-1, ew, 5-2, wasn't that bad, I guess. Another great save by Kemper. He is 
on fire right now, which apparently every goalie we play is, or we just suck at scoring. Like, can you not? One, can you not save the puck? But two, if you do save it, can you please pass it out? I've had enough with all these whistles. I think he was a little upset that the defender stopped him there. So he just wired a clapper at his feet. Thank you, Dursey. Right place, right time, good defending. We need more of that. This was definitely a very less than ideal return to action. You would have got flying poke checked anyway, so you weren't scoring more. Don't be too upset. Can we make one more save? He probably would have scored there, wouldn't he? Clayton! You just got given a one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, and you let that shot go five-hole? Like, what are you trying there? Sorry, Sergachev. Didn't mean to disregard your goal, but... I just don't understand what this team is doing. Boys disappointed. I've seen that before. Too many times, one might say. We're playing the San Jose Sharks in back-to-back -back games. We just lost to them in overtime with Ingram in the net. Let's see if we can get a win. Probably not. Macklin Celebrini's probably going to get five goals against me. 2-1 after one, and... I don't know what to do here. For the simple fact that we never get wins... I'm going in to play this game, and it is going to be stress-free. I'm not going to rule out the possibility that they could get five goals. It would be nice if I wasn't that bad, but really, you just never know. Playing that out, should I have? No. Oh dear. They kept it in. Toffoli goes to rip one, but we get in the way. Trying to go cheeky. We do seem to really... Love putting the puck five hole for whatever reason. It's like the boys have a little bet going on who can score the most fivers this year. Toffoli was about to shoot it, I thought anyway, and then he backed out. Into the corner she goes. And it looks like this is going to work out in our favor. Nice. How about we just send one home? Okay. That was like on the spot. He heard me through the headset and he's like, say less boss. Another save! That one is going to be passed out again. I should maybe stop doing it so much. I haven't really been paying attention, but I also feel like I haven't seen Celebrini yet. Where is this guy? Horrible positioning on my part. Wasn't ready for the puck to come out. You always gotta be ready. That one's on me. Let's get a Ginla goal. That almost snuck in. He looks so slow. There he is, Macklin, over to Zetterland, and we will glove that down. See, that time was okay to pass it out. He was pretty much wide open. Will I ever learn? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And with that, they are only down by three. No! We have to lock in here. Zetterland, don't you dare slide. I'm not sure why I developed that habit. Because it's not good. It's gonna take time to break, but when I break it, let me tell you, we are gonna be gross. I don't even know if I would have saved that if I didn't slide, though. Because those one-on-one -on -one opportunities, if it's not a flying poke check, I'd say the chances of me saving it are still very low. Wallman gains the line, but we got some good back checking by Genther, some good defending by whoever that was. That, that's not on me, I wouldn't say. I feel like the defenders got to have that guy. If they scored there, they would have been within one with three minutes remaining still, and I might have smashed my controller. There's a chance. Will Smith. San Jose is going to be gross in the near future. Yeah, I smothered it. Those are the actions of a nervous man. Their net's empty. All we have to do is get... Moderately close. Okay, the defender keeps backing up. Oh my word. You missed that by an inch, if that. Slap shot from Couture. That seemed like it was with some sort of like hate behind it. Was there a vendetta between me and Couture? That I... I'm just doing it for the content, obviously. You know, I'm not just a horrible goaltender. Want to keep this one close. Got to keep you guys on your toes. Net is empty. They have five seconds. Okay, that should not seal the deal. Don't say it. Don't you say it. Now it's finally over. That was way closer than it had any business being. 
absolutely pathetic third period. But you know what? Our first win only took us two games this time. They're putting us in against the Sharks again. We have a 5 GAA and 841 save percentage. But you know what? If we're winning games, I don't really care about those. However, there is kind of a correlation. You know, the more those improve, the more wins we'll probably get. Will Macklin and the boys seek their revenge? Yeah, they will. That is a 3-0 game after one. 4-2... No, I don't want to play them again. We'll just sim past. It's 6-3. Yucky. We aren't getting a lot of starts. We do have the Golden Knights here with a fairly similar record to us. They have a 7-5 and 1 at the moment. We are 6-4 and 3. How will we be treated by the simulation engine? Let's find out. That's a good start. 1-1 one, one going into the third period. We have 31 shots. Like, guys, come on. If we can sneak out of here with another win, then you know what? I will call this a success. A good start to the season, although our stats are horrendous. But again, those don't really matter. Oh my word. 5-4 just got stiff armed to the max. That stiff arm was so crazy, I turned into Santa Claus for a second. Steer it aside. Just don't do the stupid slides. I got to keep repeating it to myself so that I smarten up. Like, is that just low overall, or what is that? Because I don't think my positioning was horrible there. What is that positioning? See, that time I shouldn't have saved it, and here we are. I almost feel the need to predict where they're gonna shoot, though, and put my chest there. Because I just don't trust the extremities, you know what I mean? Like, I don't trust the blocker, I don't trust the glove, so I have <laughs> to try and get my whole body in the way. Man, we are getting walked all over right now. No, you gotta get rid of it. How is this still in our zone right now? Hey, Ginla, don't you dare. Just move it, guys. Thank you. Finally, he also got demolished, but at least he got the puck out. Holtzy cuts back, goes cross ice to Eichel. Back to the point. These guys really love point shots. Duly noted. Another interesting fact is that the day... How do we not score there? How? Someone answer me! The day I'm recording this is the first day with several NHL hockey games. We had the two between New Jersey and Buffalo, but now I think we have three games today. Also, we definitely should have scored there again. What's it gonna take to score on these goaltenders? I know we do get the odd one, but seriously, they are insane every single time it feels like. Or maybe that's just the way that I should be playing. And can't because I suck. Just another angle, another possibility to consider. Okay, stay with it. Don't move too much. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we did. We need a goal, boys. Win this draw or lose it. That works too. Jersey now in the corner is going to have Clayton Keller come help him out. Yeah, our breakout has not been it this year so far. But I would say we have a lot of new faces on the team that we need to kind of, you know teach them but nope we don't i'm awaiting the call are we gonna get pulled to the bench or no i guess it's a little too early for that so i'll wait a little bit longer holtz has it over to white cloud that one was tipped in front and didn't actually get through i don't think and now here we go the other way two and a half remaining let's see if we can get a goal here guys again luck gets by oh look at him go what a play by again under a minute we are still not getting called to the bench. Man, we're getting so many good chances. Ikinla, no! That would be awesome if it was him, too. I would love for him to tie this game up. They didn't pull us. 40 seconds left. Down by one. A little bit sussy. I guess it's safe to assume that we're not going to the bench. So I don't need to really keep cutting the camera back. Nice pass. Oh, no. Cormier was there for it. But he doesn't get it out. He fails to get it out. And Keller just skates it right into him. Like, oh, I'm sorry I took that from you, sir. Here, have it back. What an absolute joke. All right, we took the L. I don't even remember how their one goal went in. 40 shots and we only scored one. So basically, their tender 
was the sole reason that we didn't win. Their chicken tender had 39 safes. Next up, we will be in against the Seattle Kraken. We have a current record of 7-5-3. and three. Let's go check out some stats. Currently, we are fifth in the Central Division with 17 points, but look how close it is. The team below us has 17, and then the top team has 19. So there's a two-point difference from one to six. In the entire league right now, we are 17th. I don't know if he just kind of came in here and wanted to prove himself, but Granlund is having a season so far. 16 points in 15 games. Genther 12, Cooley 12. Something about that first line just is not working. We got to change it up. Michael's going to be our defensive leader at the moment. And then we've got Dursey with eight. Sergachev only has six, but he's a plus four. Both goaltenders have less than ideal stats, but Ingram's are certainly better. 905 and 285. We have, I'm not even going to read those. A three-way tie for wins at the moment, but Freddie has done it in the least amount of games played. 10 for Skinner, 10 for Decord, and 10 for Freddie. He also has a 922 save percentage, and Markstrom's played 11 games and has a 932, which is nuts. Evan Bouchard leading the charge this year. 30 points in 16 games played and a plus 22. Have yourself a year, Evan. 95 overall, Connor Bedsey. 27 points is currently the league leader. McDavid has 26, same with Dreisaitl. Our team did not improve as much in the offseason as I thought we would have, which is unfortunate. We're doing okay right now, but that is certainly nothing to go by because last year we were doing okay, and then we really weren't. On a positive note, we got our win a lot sooner this time. We also have another thing for the skill tree, and I'm going to spend it on quick hands because I do feel that our blocker and glove need to be improved drastically. For whatever reason, our stick and glove low are solid. Same with five hole, but why is our up high so bad? I guess I'll put this one into agility. We're not really shooting for the stars here, but let's hope that we can average one win per video. I think that that is reasonable. New year, new us. Let's hope that we can be competitive.